Oh yeah, this weekend is race day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We did grab some goodies. Some of this was from last weekend, but with me being behind on videos, uh, I just haven't been able to really put out some updates but it's also good because i accumulate some of this stuff and then we can do one giant review on what we picked up so some of this is target mixed in with walmart they're just in the bag so as i pull them out i'll let you know where i picked these up but this one should be mostly from target um, and check this out guys we finally got some new stuff in the area we have the time of taxi now this is the year of the rabbit which is my chinese zodiac so I definitely wanted to get my hands on this one. Love the red. And of course you have the new FC3 wheels in gold. Now those FC3 stands for Fraser Campbell. He's the designer of those wheels inspired by the Super Advan 3s. Beautiful livery. Of course you have the year 23 right there to represent the year of the rabbit. Um, this one is D case and it does have opening doors. Now the only other one I have aside from, I believe I still have the ID chase somewhere in that drawer is this one right here. And I believe this was the very first one that was released with the taxi deco. Now it's just red enamel. You still have the opening door with the red interior and the gray MC fives, but uh, I'm really digging the look of this one with those new FC threes. So this one is definitely a great addition to the collection especially representing the rabbit zodiac right there all right guys from walmart their new exclusive corvette series finally got all of them except for one i know i'm going to track that one down but i still need the black c6 corvette i have all the other ones so far but here we go beautiful red 97 corvette Love the Grand Sport style fender stripes right there on the side. And of course, going down the center. Beautiful Corvette though, man. Definitely love this generation. Really clean setup for the series. Now this one is number five of eight for the Corvettes. Next one out of the Corvette series is the 2019 ZR1 convertible in yellow. Now this is beautiful. Definitely loving it. It does have a little bit of a pearl inside of that yellow. And of course, you have the staggered PR5s in black with the chrome ring. Taillight tampos are added to this one as well as the headlights. So this one looks really good overall. And this one is number seven of the eight castings. 2019 Corvette for the win, especially in the convertible. Let's see. The next one is the 69 Corvette in this super dark green metallic. Love the flake in it. You have the nice white stripe tampo with Stingray on the side. And of course the chrome five spokes with the staggered fitment chrome interior on this one and of course you have the wraparound stripes going around the hood but beautiful corvette as well this one's number four of the eight so that finishes the corvette um i just need to find the c6 the other ones i already opened up i picked them up not that long ago and i already opened them and put them in here so you have the c8 you have this beautiful corvette stingray in white you have the 55 corvette as well as the 64 thing looks beautiful so i will be opening up all of these corvettes because all of my corvettes are open one more and i will have them all it's just a matter of time before i find it next ones i believe are from target now this one is the kyle bush of course you guys know i'm still on the huge nascar kick definitely a great season with a lot of issues but every sunday is race day and i'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow but kyle bush's number 18 interstate car and they are no longer using the 18 which is sad because it's just an iconic number this is 2022 wave 4 i do have one i didn't realize i had one already and it is loose sitting on that shelf so this just makes number two for the collection maybe i'll take the wheels off of this one and use it for a custom because these wheels are one of my favorites to use next up we did grab the new treasure hunt for the hot wheels skate series i do collect these because growing up you know skateboarding for 14 plus years i used to play with these in middle school high school even even past that just to have fun with them so never going to pass up on the skate routes that i have but this is the new treasure hunt you can see the flame right there on the back 
And of course, if you ever look onto the back, it'll tell you which one is the treasure hunt by putting a logo next to the board. But since this one is it, it's not gonna be listed on the back, but definitely a cool one. You have the Diora for the deco onto the board. I think I have about 10 um, mixed in with the regular Tech Deck brand. I am building a little rack so I can have all of my treasure hunts and just tech decks um, for display because uh yeah why not all right next up we did grab the new camaro this one is just the main line i do have the super and definitely loving the deco on this one even the super looks really good especially being in gold so yeah that thing is just gorgeous any super in gold looks beautiful i think the gt500 is still one of my favorite Mustangs for the Supers. And I gotta say, Hot Wheels art cars for this year is actually looking much better than they have in the past. And you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about. It is probably the worst Mustangs ever produced from Hot Wheels. Where are you at? Here we go. Two of the most ugliest Mustangs. You have this nasty tan and then the ugly orange. Now, if it didn't have the Tampos or those wheels, it would probably work. But man, I don't know what they were thinking when they did these. And it wasn't just that one. They also had the 65. There you go. 67. Another hideous one. And I'm glad we are past that stage and going back to some really cool artwork on these cars. Um, but yeah, definitely wanted the main line for it. That way I can have this one loose to race or just add in the jammer. But there we go mainline camaro next up we did grab the snoopy now i didn't know they were re-releasing this one for this year and i believe there's been other wheel variations and releases to this and i remember i think it was 2020 they were having this one put out at fry's and i just kept passing on it because it's not really my thing but i definitely want this to race on the track i just don't know who's going to be the driver Maybe it'll just be Snoopy. Maybe Snoopy will be the next king of the tower. But uh, this one does have the new Chrome 5 slot on it. I believe the previous one was a 5 spoke. Um, but you guys let me know down in the comments. But it is out of the Hot Wheels screen time out of D-Case. Now these were Target finds like I mentioned earlier. So Target has been the one to get all the latest and greatest but uh, not much. Next one we got the new for 2023 BMW 507 in white such a classy one out of factory fresh now i do have to say this is the very first factory fresh to not have headlight and taillight tampos look at that that is probably the most disappointing for this series beautiful casting but factory fresh for the longest time was the series to get because they were always full tampos front and rear and where are my factory freshes at let's see factory fresh mustang which never has tampos you have headlights then you had tail lights and most every single factory fresh had headlight and tail light tampos but this one doesn't beautiful red interior though it looks super classy you have the black steelies which i think were a great choice for the car but i'm just disappointed there are no tampos on it it is just highly washed out. You guys let me know, does yours have headlight tampos? Because it could be just an error, but for the most part, I don't think it is. I think they all came out just plain white with no other details, which it is what it is for right now. Still an awesome casting. Um, and then next up, we got the new recolor of the McLaren Elva in this heavy flake gold. You do have the black and gray trap fives on there now. A lot of people aren't a fan of those wheels. I think they look good on certain castings and I think it looks decent on here, but it can definitely use a wheel swap. But uh, another beautiful color out of the Hot Wheels Roadster series. So there we go. Next one for the bike collection, of course, that I don't know why I have, but I just think they're cool. It's the Honda Super Cub. It is a satin baby blue with the red seat. Of course, you guys can clearly see that. And you do have the MC3 wheels on there. Now, this is out of the Moto series. Um, and I can't remember which color came out prior to this one. But all of my bikes are right here. And I think I would have it somewhere on here. Um, a lot of these are duplicates. You got some treasure hunt loose ones here. Treasure hunt stealth bike right there. 
Is this the last one or previous one? Maybe it is. It might be. I want to say this was the one right before it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and open this one up and put it in the case. All right, there we go. It is free and it looks not bad. Definitely a cool color variation though. Still think the black and red one looks the best, um, but here we go. Rabbit holes that I just keep hidden is the bikes. I definitely love having the bikes for some reason. All right, and then next one, this was actually from Walmart. It's out of the new Jurassic World series. It's the Chevy Silverado. Check that out, man. This thing is actually super tough. You have it in the nice black with the mud splatter all over, and of course the brown mud tires on there, but headlight and bow tie are on there. I mean, even the tail lights are done. Matchbox doesn't really disappoint that often with castings, and I think they do a really good job. And I think this was just another one. All right, and then last one, this is the Lolux. It came out in, I think this is the third color variation. You had the red one at first, and I believe the blue metallic was second, and this one right here. This color setup is probably my favorite. I love how it kind of has a retro look to it. I mean, those neon colors on top of the baby blue just look really good. Um, and of course you do have the staggered setup, but you have the PR5s in the rear and five spokes up front which is a super cool stance for the truck. Beautiful recolor. But that was the Target slash Walmart haul. Next up, here we go guys. We got some nine packs. I hate biting the bullet for certain castings, but for these, I definitely had to pick them up. So this one right here was top on the list for the new exclusive Mustang right here. Look at that beautiful pearlescent orange. It's the custom 2018 Mustang with the gray 10 spokes, which I think look gorgeous on there. And of course you have the 5.0 badge on the fender, but awesome exclusive for the nine pack. But that's not it guys. You also have the new recolor of the Mach-E, which I have not been able to find on card. Since it came in here, I had to pick it up. Beautiful Ford Performance livery. Love the color setup with the black Y5s. I think that thing looks tough. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Mach-E, but I do like the Mach-E 1400, especially for what it's capable of. And then, of course, you have the Dodge Charger Drift right here in green. You have the Nissan Maxima Drift Wagon. You have the new Coupe Clip car, which was the keychain car they turned into the casting. I think that is an awesome setup right there. Beautiful silhouette. You have the louvers on the back, which you can barely see. And of course you have the black lace wheels, just a tough car. And I'm glad they made it into a casting because it just had a lot of potential for the silhouette. Um, you have this car, don't know what it is, but it looks like it'd be fast on the track. The Roger Dodger, which I do have. You have another fantasy car. It looks pretty aerodynamic and quick for the track. And then you have the Bentley Continental GT3 in green, which we do have as well. So I really just picked it up for the two Mustangs and the coupe clip car and everything else will probably be used on the track. And then the second one I did grab for the 300ZX since I do have all of the releases, except for the red premium one out of the Ronin rides. But look at that, man. Beautiful yellow 300ZX Tampos. Chrome PR5s, love the basic look to this one. And then of course you have the white 99 Lightning. Check that out. You got the Corvette out of the art cars with the dragon wrapped around. You have another fantasy car, another Roger Dodger, so this makes three. You got the little tarantula car, don't know what it's called. You got the really cool Beetle, super clean. Love the wheel choice on there. Then you have this one, I can't remember what that one is called and the Bone Shaker, another one I needed for the Bone Shaker collection. So really grabbed it for the Lightning 300ZX and the Bone Shaker. There are two nine packs. I had to bite the bullet for three castings in each. Either way, we have some extra cars for racing, sending off to someone who needs whatever castings in here. But that is that. And then we did grab the new B&M 66 Mustang Gasser from M2. Now they actually had this one at Hobby Lobby for like 14 bucks and I'm glad I waited because Walmart only sells these for six. So pretty much could have bought two of these 
for the price of one at Hobby Lobby. But here we go, nice yellow enamel with the B&M Deco and of course the gasser. So I think I have another recolor of this one. Uh, let's see, where are you at? B&M, I wanna say I do. Maybe I don't have a B&M. So 66s, they got 65, 66 Shelby's, 66 gasser. So it'll go right after the pony up. I gotta rearrange all of this stuff. But here we go, another M2 Mustang for the collection. And next up is another Mustang from Majorette. I've been passing on this one every time I see it. I'm just not a fan of the chrome wheels on there. But here we go, another Mustang for the collection. All right, let's see. Next up, we got the GT500 recolor from Auto World. Look at that, dude. That is such a legendary blue right there. It is the Velocity Blue. And of course you have the premium facts 2021 the carbon fiber track pack was an 18,500 upgrade option so basically another car stacked on top of this just for the carbon track pack producing 760 horsepower the 2021 gt500 is the most powerful production mustang ever built and i think the blue looks amazing so it'll go right above the rapid red gt500 along with the grabber lime and now we have the Velocity Blue. Next one is the last Volkswagen I needed for the set. This one was such a hard one to find. The T2 pickups are always gone the second this series drops. I mean, they kept dropping the series. This one was always gone. I have all the other ones that I wanted, um, but this one is definitely a beautiful one. I love the yellow and white. Of course, you have the, you have the aero discs tucked in there in chrome which I think look good on the Volkswagens, but here we go. T2 pickup for the win. Next one is the black McLaren. Now this is old guys. This is old and here is another factory fresh for reference, full headlight detail as well as taillights. So that's what I mean. The BMW is lacking for sure and I don't know why Mattel did that. But this car I got from the car show that I posted, this was the car they were handing out at the front door and I thought it would be good to just open this one and probably have it as a racer. So all of my McLarens are also open. So that's not going to be a new one for me. Right here, guys, we went with the cheap castings of the Adventure Force. And Nova Diecast actually posted picking up some similar ones. Um, but this one right here, guys, the Lamborghini Terzo Millenio in white. This thing is such a wicked casting. I wish that Hot Wheels or even Matchbox would do this one. Now I do have the blue one. It should be in my Lamborghini box, which is I believe in this one. No, it's not in this one. It's not in this one. So it should be, it should be in here. Let's see, Millennio, where are you at? How do I not have it in there? Uh-oh, we got a Lamborghini missing. Definitely missing my Millennio. I am definitely missing my Millennio. All right, now I know what to look for this weekend. I, I, man, I bet it's in this box of loose castings. It probably is, but either way, I have the blue one. It was the same setup with the orange wheels. And this thing is just awesome. Do not sleep on Adventure Force, guys. They may be cheap, but the castings itself are just awesome. I mean, you even have headlight and taillight tampos, just an awesome one. And of course I grabbed the BMW in black. I do have the red one that I picked up. You can see it does have a nice black metallic to it. Same thing, really nice taillight and headlight details for it. And these look really good with some new wheels. These multi-spoke wheels don't look too bad on there, but premium wheels definitely wake these cars up. And then next one we picked up is the Lamborghini Countach. Definitely not passing up a Lamborghini, man. I don't care what brand it is. I love having multiple exotics. And of course, having all the different types of die cast brands just really makes the collection just different. You know, having all types of brands from cheap to, to the RLC ones, which is a beautiful one, but definitely an awesome one. I think the wheels could definitely be upgraded because these are hideous, 
I think the wheel tuck is not that great, but not gonna pass that up. So two nice Lamborghinis for the collection. This one is the Ford van with the racing division deco. I think it's really cool. Now, I'm not a fan of collecting these, but of course, having a side piece for the track is what it's all about. So I'm gonna have this somewhere around here, probably with the mechanics and flatbeds, but really cool Ford racing division van. I think it's really cool. So 97 cents, of course, they are super cheap Maisto castings, but they are not too bad. Well, here we go, guys, a bunch of stuff that we've picked up over the past week and a half or so. Some new 2023 releases, which I am super stoked to finally get in the collection. Of course, we did find some other ones from Target. We have the Treasure Hunt Hot Wheels Skate Deck, which is another great addition to the collection. The B&M Mustang M2, of course, definitely had to grab that. I'm never gonna really pass on a Mustang unless I'm just not 100% certain like this one. I passed on it like three or four times, but I was eventually going to get it. I just wanted to wait on it because it wasn't really the highlight one that I wanted to grab, but I do need it for the collection. You guys know I am still building on the Mustang wall. This one is starting to build up on this side. So pretty much from this point on is all Mustang. And of course this entire wall excluding the super area is all Mustang going down. Even down here is all Mustang. So definitely got to grab them, guys. Can't be the Mustang hunter and not pick up every Mustang I see. That's why I had to bite the bullet and get the multi-pack just for these two Stangs to have in the collection. And of course, the coupe clip car. But other than that, guys, I have nothing else. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and the haul that we've picked up. Um, so yeah, that is all we have. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below which one of these is your favorite. Nine packs are coming out with some amazing cars. There is a 20 pack with the new green Supra that I want to pick up along with the 32 Ford recolor. There's a bunch of new stuff coming out in these nine packs. We're going to be doing some races tomorrow, which will be posted by the middle or, or maybe end of the week. Hopefully I can get that out to you guys. Till next time. This is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.